हेलो एवरीवन सो दिस इज़ माय नेक्स्ट सीरीज ऑफ दिस इज़ माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ माय सीरीज इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन माय सो मेनी वीडियोस इन माय सो मेनी लास्ट वीडियोस दैट आई एम गोइंग टू मेक अ सीरीज ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एंड इन दिस सीरीज आई आई विल डिस्कस ऑल द इम्पोर्टेंट ऑथर्स देयर वर्क ऑल द इम्पोर्टेंट मोमेंट्स and all uh, about english literature so this is my next video of that series the first author is or you can say the 14th author in my last video i discussed uh, till uh, thomas more and after this the next author is alexander barclay so the alexander barclay uh, was a poet a scholar and preacher and he was probably uh, scottish by birth and some of his important work is the ship of fools fools which was published in 1509 and this work was translated by brands he translated sorry and he also translated brands naran uh, naran's ship into english verse as the ship of fools matlab ship of fools is a translation and it was written in 1513 and 14 it is interesting as the earliest english pastorals and pastorals what is pastorals pastorals is a work in which we discuss about shepherds it is a form of literature that celebrates uh, idolized terms the innocent love and musical pleasure of shepherds now william tandil he was the captain of the army of reformers and uh, he was a captain and as well as well as aldus also the spiritual leader and he hold holds the distinction of being the first to ever print the new testament in english language he print the new testament in english language he was a true scholar and a genius and he fluent in eight languages that nobody will able to identify who is Uh, which of which is his native language it means वह आठ उसके लैंग्वेज ही साथ थे और यह पता करना बहुत ही मुश्किल होता था कि उसकी नेट मदर टंग कौन सी है सॉरी ही इज फ्रिक्वेंटली रेफर्ड एज द आर्किटेक्ट ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज एज ही क्वेंट सो मैनी फ्रेजिस दैट वी यूज टूडे इन आवर इंग्लिश दैट्स वाई ही इज ऑल्सो नोन एज आर्किटेक्ट ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज ही ट्रांसलेटेड बाइबल into an early form of modern english in 1526 he was the first person to make use of gutenberg movable type of press tindale tindale translations were banned by the authorities and he was burned in 1536 at the instigation of agent of henry 8th and anglican church now sir thomas your uh, thomas wort He was 16th century poet and English ambassador in the reign of King VIII. He was born in Kent and his father Henry Wayne White was a councillor in the court of Henry VIII. Thomas Wyatt introduced Petrarch Petrarchan sonnet in English. He introduced Petrarchan sonnet. None of the Wyatt's poem was published during his lifetime it means during he wrote so many poems but uh, his poem was published posthumously the first book total miss miss uh, miscellany was published in 1557 after the 15 years after his death in 1535 wyatt was knighted and appointed high sheriff of nate kent and in 1541 was elected knight of the shire in 1520 he married elizabeth brook total miscellany was named after its printer richard total who introduced 97 poet attribute to wyatt's among total 271 poems total miscellany miscellany is also known as songs songs and sonnets जो टोटल मिसी लैनी है वो एक वर्क है जो कि रिचर्ड टोटल के नाम पर रखा गया है क्योंकि उन्होंने इसमें 97 सेवन पोएम इंक्लूड करी थी तो टोटल जो है वो 271 सेवन पोएम्स हैं जिनमें से 97 सेवन पोएट्स रिचर्ड टोटल की हैं एंड दिस वर्क इज ऑल्सो नोन एज सॉन्ग्स एंड सोनेट्स एंड ही एक्सपेरी एक्सपेरिमेंट फॉर्म्स लाइक एपीग्राम्स 
stranger rhyme octava rhyme styles mono rhyme quatrets and ambic tetra <coughs> ambic tetra meter sorry so cs lewis called him the father of the drab age in 1536 White was imprisoned in the Tower of London for allegedly committing adultery with Annie Boleyn, the wife of Henry VIII. उसको imprisoned किया गया था, and he started Wyatt Rebellion against the marriage of King I and Philip II. उसने एक rebellion भी किया था, मतलब कि King Mary I और Philip II की शादी पे, and he was died. Due, due to illness in 1542, the structure of Wyatt sonnet or patriarchal sonnet is octave. जो structure है, Wyatt sonnet का ये patriarchal patriarchal sonnet का octave है and sesset. मतलब eight line और last में six line and a <coughs> casura in between. Thy flee from me is a poem written by Thomas Yott, referring Wyatt's affair with high-born woman of court of Henry VIII. Opening line of the poem is Thy flee from me that sometime did me seek with naked foot stalking in my chamber. Thy flee from me एक poem है Thomas Wyatt ने लिखी थी उसकी affair high जो मतलब जो rich woman है उसके साथ affair के बारे में इसने उसने लिखा है Now Earl of Surrey, Surrey. Now the Earl of Surrey. The time period of Earl of Surrey is 1517 to 1547, and his real name is Henry Howard, and he was a disciple of Thomas White. He was a brave soldier who served in Henry VIII French War as Lieutenant General of the King on sea and land. He became Earl. Uh, he became Earl of Surrey. Surrey in uh, 1524 when his grandfather died, and his father became Duke of Norfolk. In 1536. Surrey was also served with his father against the pilgrimage of Grace Rebellion, protesting against the dissolution of monasteries by King Henry VIII. ये उसका मतलब history के बारे में बताया गया कि उसने कहाँ कहाँ पे service दी थी अपने. Surrey was the first English poet to publish in black verse. ये important है कि उसने black verse में सबसे पहले published किया था अपना work. In his translation of the second and fourth book of Virgil, Virgil's Aeneid. Together with Wyatt, he translated patriarchal sonnet and hence known as the father of English sonnet. <coughs> Together with Wyatt, Wyatt के साथ मिलके उसने he translated patriarchal patriarchal sonnet. Wyatt के साथ मिलके उसने patriarchal sonnet को translate किया था और इसलिए उसे father of English sonnets भी कहा जाता है. Earl of Surrey को. Rather, Wyatt introduced sonnet into English, but it was Surrey. Who gave them the rhyming meter and the division into quatrains, and that now characterizes the sonnet as Shakespearean sonnet or English sonnet or Elizabethan sonnet. यानी कि जो वॉइट हैं, उन्होंने इंट्रोड्यूस किया था सोनेट को इंग्लिश में, लेकिन सूर्य ने उनको उनको रैमिंग मीटर दिया था. Henry VIII was suffering of psychotic disorder, paranoia, and he realized that Surrey is planning to assert the crown from his son edward 6 so he imprisoned surrey and his father and sentenced to death and eighth ko matlab ki suffer tha vah psychotic disorder ke karan usse yeh dar tha ki jo surrey hai vah uski crown ko lena chahta hai isliye usko imprison kar diya tha surrey was beheaded usko beheaded kar diya gaya tha lekin uske father jo hai wo survived the uske father zinda the he was married to fancy francis de viri Suri was portrayed by an actor David O'Hara in the Two Doors a television series that ran from 2007 to 10. Suri's sonnet was addressed to Greenlandine. Greenlandine. The structure of English sonnet which was found by Suri has three quatrain and a couplet. यानी कि उसने जो sonnet दिया था मतलब sonnet English को sonnet दिया था उसका जो structure था वो था तीन quatrain है और एक couplet था. यानी कि चार चार लाइन इस तरीके से तीन चार चार लाइन और लास्ट में दो एंड इट आल्सो नोन एज द शेक्सपीरियन सोनेट नाउ थॉमस नॉटन एंड थॉमस सेक्वाइल दे रोड द फर्स्ट इंग्लिश ट्रेजिडी ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर गोरबोटक 
and also titled ferrex and porrex in 1561 so it is very important question that the first english tragedy of uh, uh, first tragedy of english literature is gorboduc and it also known as ferrex and porrex which was written in 1561 and it was performed at the christmas celebration given by the inner temple in 1561 and performed before queen elizabeth first queen elizabeth first ke samne isko perform kiya gaya tha it was written in five acts out of which three acts are written by thomas norton and last two acts by thomas sequel to um gorboduc is a english tragedy and this work has five acts the first three acts are written by thomas norton and the last two acts are written by thomas sequel it is first verse drama in english to employ black verse and in this work black verse is employed the chief character of this work is gorboduc which was the king of great britain <coughs> vidina queen and wife of gorboduc ferrex elder son of gorboduc porrex younger son dodon a con counselor assigned by the king to his son ferrex and philander a con- counselor assigned by the king to his son porrex the second author is roger ascham roger ascham was an english scholar he was a didactic writer and a fame and famous for his prose style he acted as princess elizabeth's tutor in greek and latin between itne matlab 1548 to 1550 usne prince elizabeth ke tutor ke roop mein bhi uh, work kiya tha now he was the son he was the son of uh, john ascham his father name was john ascham who was steward to baron scrope of bolton in In 1530 Ascham had a uh, had an unspecified quarrel with the court which he ambiguously described as a storm of recent recent violence and injury. In the same year he was appointed as secretary to Richard Morrison. Iski important work hai Toxophilus. This is the first work of Ascham which means the lover of the bow. in 1545 and it was dedicated to henry 8 it was the first book on archery in english the book is a platonic dialogue between toxophilus and philologus the schoolmaster in 1563 as cham began 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 the right began the work the schoolmaster which was published posthumously in 1570 the book concentrate on teaching of latin and it was not intended for school school ke liye ye nahi thi but specifically especially intended for private bringing up of youth in gentlemen and nobleman houses the large corner of the book is the large corner of the book is psychology of learning the education of whole person and the idle moral and intellectual personality that educate that education it means roser chasham roser ascham jo the wo ek english um, scholar the and he was acted as princess elizabeth's tutor and um, uh, his important work was toxophilus and the schoolmaster now beaumont and fletcher beaumont and fletcher was the contemporary of shakespeare Francis Beaumont and John Fletcher are usually thought of together because of their long collaboration yani dono ne kafi collaborated ho ke kaam kiya tha Beaumont was born in 1584 while Fletcher in 1539 sorry 79 both the writers collaborated Shakespeare in King in Henry VIII and the two noble kingsmen to Shakespeare ke do work thi King Henry VIII and the two noble kingsmen to Beaumont and Fletcher both corpor both writers collaborated in this work with shakespeare shakespeare also collaborated fletcher in writing cardenio cardenio is regarded as shakespeare work also shakespeare ne bhi collaborate kiya tha fletcher ke sath uske ek work cardenio mein aur cardenio ek shakespeare ka work samjha jata hai 
डब्ल्यू जी लॉन्ग पॉइंट दैट बियोमोट सप्लाइड द जजमेंट एंड द सॉलिड वर्क ऑफ द प्ले वाइल्ड फ्लैचर फर्निश द हाई कलर सेंटिमेंट एंड द लिरिक पोइट्री देयर मास्टर पीस वर्क आर फेथफुल शेफर्स इट इज़ अ पेस्टोरल प्ले विच इज फुल ऑफ चार्मिंग पैसेजेस एंड शोइंग द लिरिकल टैलेंट ऑफ द पोइट द स्क्रोनफोन लेडी इट इज एन एक्सीलेंट डोमेस्टिक कॉमेडी द किंग ऑफ बर्निंग पेस्टल आउट ऑफ मोस्ट एम्यूजिंग एंड निम्बल पैराडाइज ऑफ द शिवेलरियस रोमांस ऑफ नाइट इडेंटली द क्रेज फॉर विच वॉज वाइड स्प्रेड इन द लंडन मिडल क्लास एट द टाइम द मे ट्रेजडी अ किंग एंड अ नो किंग एंड नो किंग इट इज अबाउट किंग जे चार्लेस फर्स्ट ये जो वर्क है वो किंग चार्लेस फर्स्ट के बारे में था इट इज़ अ ट्रैजिक कॉमेडी द सीन इज लेड इन अ फार ऑफ कंट्री मतलब ये सीन जो है वो कंट्री के बाहर इसमें सीन जो है वो डिस्प्ले किए गए हैं द प्ले रिप्रेजेंट इन सिस्ट इन लव एंड होवर्स ऑन द ब्रिंक ऑफ ट्रेजडी हाउ एवर द एंड इज हैप्पी फॉर द लवर्स हु आर डिस्कवर टू बी नो ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर एंड आर हैप्पीली मैरिड एट द एंड तो ये जो फ्लैचर और ब्योमोन थे कॉन्टेम्प्रेरी देवर द कॉन्टेम्प्रेरी ऑफ शेक्सपियर एंड बोथ ऑफ दैम आर कोलेबोरेटेड इन द वर्क किंग हेनरी एट्थ एंड द टू नोबल किंग्स मैन ऑफ शेक्सपियर एंड शेक्सपियर वॉज आल्सो कोलेबोरेटेड विद फ्लैचर्स वर्क कार्डनियो एंड इट इज इट इज नॉन दैट ब्योमोन सप्लाइड द जजमेंट एंड द सॉलिड वर्क ऑफ द प्ले वाई फ्लैचर फर्निश द कलर्स एंड सेंटिमेंट्स ऑफ द पोइट्री एंड बोथ एंड बोथ राइटर्स द मास्टर पीस ऑफ बोथ राइटर्स आर लाइक फेथफुल शेफर्स द स्क्रोनफुल लेडी द नाइट ऑफ द बर्निंग पेस्टल द मे ट्रेजडी अ किंग एंड नो किंग सो दीज आर सम वर्क ऑफ देयर नाउ द सेकेंड 